I mean, I'm not happy about it because people still like to sit on the green and those pesticides are going to continue to give people rashes, not to mention that they're bad for the environment. I mean, I think the green does look nice, but it's kind of bad because it's messed with the ecosystem and everything. So, I mean, one hand, like, I like a nice green, but I feel like they should probably figure out a different way to make it pretty. Um, originally, and to be honest with you, I didn't care at all, and then I took my environmental journalism class in which um, I learned a lot about the pesticides and the spraying of that, and I read a lot of articles on it, and I have like, a newfound interest for it, and I think that if it's able to be changed, we should definitely um, go along with the students who are trying to make change and, and respect that. Um, I think they should tell us if there's something like dangerous about it, um, and I don't think they should do it if it is dangerous. I really actually don't care that much because I don't see any thing bad about it. It's I don't see how it's going to hurt the ecosystem or how it's going to infect any of our lives. Um, well, I'm an art major, so I never really go to the green, and I'm not really affected by it, but other people are, and it's probably really bad. I feel like they should tell us what they're spraying on the green so we know um, how dangerous the chemicals are, but at the same time, they spray pesticides on most of the foods that we eat and a lot of other things along those lines, so I feel like as long as we're informed as to the chemicals that we're like being exposed to, and as long as they're not dangerous and like um, a health hazard, then it's kind of okay. Well, I think it's a serious issue, so I'm glad students are bringing it up and raising it to the general population's awareness. Um, but I think it's overall just a bad issue because it affects our health, but also it, the potential to run off into water and cause all watershed problems and water quality issues.